Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss the third problem of plate code weekly contest 450 which is grid teleportation traversal. So what is the problem? We are given a 2D character grid matrix of size n cross n. Uh, where each cell can be a dot. Dot represents an empty cell. Hash represents an obstacle. A uppercase le uh, letter represents uh, a teleportation portal. Okay. So we have to start at the top left, left cell 0, 0 and we have to reach the bottom right cell n minus 1 m minus 1. Okay. We can move from the current cell to any adjacent cell, and there is uh, mm, another case here. Okay, so let's let me uh, draw one grid. So let's say a dot dot uh, dot a dot and dot dot dot. So one one case could be one movement could be we can go any direction. Okay, uh, right down uh, top or left we can go in any possible direction using one move but we can also traverse from a particular cell to any other cell containing the same character without wasting a move okay so that is one case okay so we can go from this cell to this a without wasting any move so let's say we are at this cell okay a so one possible way to go to the uh, rightmost cell uh, like bottommost right cell will be to go this way this this and this and this so what is the total number of moves here the total number of moves here will be 4 okay total number of moves here will be 4 but here you can see the answer is 2 how we can go to 2 okay so we can do one teleportation from this cell to this cell using 0 moves and from this cell we can go to this cell using 2 moves okay so the answer will be 2 here so how we can teleport from a current cell let's say from a cell containing a we can move to any other cell containing a with 0 moves okay now how to solve this problem uh, one solution for this problem to you uh, problem would be to use uh, a disaster solution i think yeah mm, i have not th uh, thought about disaster solution i just thought about now uh, like uh, from a cell see how this problem is getting changed into okay so this problem is getting changed into a graph type of problem okay so let's say a graph okay uh, let's say th there are some nodes in the graph okay one two three four five so for adjacent cell the weight of the graph is dot the adjacent cell the weight of the graph is 1 for the adjacent cell weight of the graph is 1 but for the teleportation cells let's say there is a teleportation between 1 to 3 if there is a teleportation between 1 to 3 then the age weight will be 0 okay uh, then the age weight will be 0 okay uh, similarly let's say there is 6 is adjacent to 3 then the age weight will be 1 let's say there is a uh, teleportation from 4 to 5 then the uh, age weight will be 0 that, that is the first observation that we can change the problem to a graph problem with containing 1 and 0 uh, age weights okay that is the first observation and in this uh, kind of graph let's say there is a age from 2 to 3 also with length 1 okay uh, and 1 to is also 0 okay let's say this is the graph this is not a tree this is a graph okay so in this graph you you can use disastrous algorithm to solve this problem in order of in log n order of in log n you can uh, use that disastrous algorithm to solve this problem in in log n or e log b kind of same okay now there is a case okay the uh, time complexity of disaster solution is not in log n it is like order of e log b okay order of e log b okay order of e log b where e is the number of ages e is the number of ages hmm. that is the one case here what is the number of ages let's say there are like uh, all uh, all sales in the matrix let's say they are all a okay let's say all sale of matrix there are all a okay then what is the number of cell uh, number of ages in that case the number of ages there is a zero weight age there is a zero weight age between um, each any cell to any other cell okay there is a zero weight uh, age between any cell to any other cell containing the same character so if all the cells of the matrix have the same uh, character then we'll have like order of n square number of ages order of n square number of ages so that is not uh, a good way to handle this okay so we can't really go to a cell and move all uh, other cell containing the same character so here we will use some greedy approach the greedy approach will be to uh, do um, traverse the transportation cell only once through the tra uh, transportation cells only once uh, when we achieve the same character at the first time okay so let's say 
we achieved a for the first time here we achieved a from the first time here then we will only use the teleportation cells at this time only because let's say we at we are at this cell again uh, in the tower cell so we will not use teleportation at this cell because let's say there is a here okay let's say there is a a here so there is no point in going from this cell to this cell and this cell to this cell there is no point in doing that we can directly jump from this uh, first a cell to this cell okay so we will only use teleportation once for a particular character when we are at the cell containing the character for the first time okay so uh, that is the first observation so using this observation also you can do a disaster algorithm but we have something better that is not needed for uh, like uh, competitive programming we can use disaster solution to solve this uh, in the uh, normal competitive programming but in interview or any other case where we have to optimize the time complexity we have we can use what is called as 0 1 bfs so 0 1 bfs is an interesting uh, problem to solve a uh, minimum uh, distance like minimum distance problem like uh, in disaster algorithm we solve minimum distance problem right shortest path between uh, a source node to all other nodes so we can do the same thing using 0 1 bfs for a particular graph where each uh, weight could be either 0 or 1 so each weight could be of 0 or 1 we can solve this problem using 0 1 bfs in order of in order of v time okay so that is called 0 1 bfs order of v plus i e i think okay or of b plus e so how 0 1 vfs works so i'll explain that to you now so uh, let's say i have drawn the graph here okay let me use that graph only so uh, i have drawn this graph so we'll maintain a dq okay we'll maintain a dq so at start we'll uh, add uh, one to the we'll add the source nodes to the dq so we'll add one to the dq now we'll traverse the zero edge nodes first okay so uh, or you can traverse any nodes okay so let's say we traverse the third node so whenever we uh, add uh, we will pop this node from the dq first let's say whenever uh, let's say we have added two and four okay we have added two and four in the dq so we have added two and four in the dq this node is popped up we have added two and four in the dq so with uh, age weight one now whenever we are add adding a node with age zero we will add that node at the start of the dq we will add that node at the front of the dq we will add 3 at the front of the dq because we want to post, uh, process that node first we will uh, we want to process that node first so we will push front uh, the node in the dq which has age weight 0 and for age weight 1 we will push it back in the dq okay for uh, let's say age if age weight if uh, if weight is 1 weight is 1 then we will do uh, push back okay we will do push back and if age weight is 0, we will do push front, we can call PF. So for age weight 1, we will do push back and for age weight 0, we will push front, okay. So uh, not only this, we have to handle some other cases also, okay. Uh, let's say, mm -hmm. what is the other case? Let's say here, okay. Let's say here, we are go going from 1 to 3 and then from 3 to 4, we can go, right. So the age weight will be 4, but here, uh, we have already already added 4 in the uh, DQ. We have already added 4 in the DQ with age weight 1. We have already added 4 in the DQ with age weight 1, but we can go to from 1 to 3 and 3 to 4 with age weight 0. So in that case, uh, we also have to check if the distance of 4, if the distance of 4 is less than uh, distance of 3. Okay, distance of 4 is less than distance of 3, then we can add 4 in the front. Okay, distance of 4 is less than distance of 3, then we can add four in the front okay so that is another thing you have to check i will explain the uh, code now you can understand it better from there okay so let's come to the code so uh, we have initialized one dq here okay now uh, we are pushing q dot pushback one comma zero comma zero so what's the first uh, element first element from uh, first element in the dq will be uh, the source node the index uh, row of the source node the uh, column of the source node and the distance of the source node plus one so we are why we are using plus one because we are using some map right uh, so that's why uh, for identification we are using plus one here okay so uh, here here is one one important part in the vfs solution zero one vfs we are checking if this ij not equals to distance we are doing continue why because let's say we have added four at the start right so we'll process four at the first four then 
uh, will process all the nodes uh, with four. Okay. So whenever we pop four, then three, then two, then th whenever we are at the second four, last four. Okay. So we don't want to process this because we have already processed four. Okay. So in that case, we are checking that if the distance is already modified, if because we have added distance here, yeah, right? In the Q uh, tuple, we have added distance, and this IJ is the updated distance. This IJ is the updated distance. If these two are not equal, that means we have found some distance which is less than uh, the distance previous distance. So we are not processing that node. Okay. Now if this is the base case. If we are at the bottom right cell, if i equals to n minus one and j equals to n minus one, we are returning distance minus one because we are we are using one based indexing in the distance. Okay. Now uh, if matrix i j is greater than equals to a and matrix i j is less than equals to j z that means we are at some teleportation portal right we are at some teleportation portal so in the teleportation portal i have already explained that we will use the teleportation portals for a particular character only once okay so we are doing some pop back operation here so if the teleportation portal size is greater than zero so we will go to each teleportation cell possible and we are checking if it is uh if it is valid I don't think this is a valid check here. We don't want to check this. Okay, so if it is not visited or the visit uh, visited n i n j size it already visited or the size is uh, the distance is greater than uh, um, like visit of n i n j is greater than the distance. Okay, uh, then uh, it is possible to minimize the distance, right? So we are doing visit of n i n j is this, and we are pushing. It at the front because this is a, uh, teleportation portals have zero weight, so we'll push front for the teleportation portals. Okay, so we are doing q dot push front distance comma n i n j. Okay, and we are doing a pop back operation here because we'll use one teleportation portal for a particular character only once. Now here uh, we are uh, going in all the direction left, right, up, down. Okay, and we are checking if the can uh, uh, cell is valid in the in that particular direction. And if the cell is uh, not already visited, so we will not check this case, uh, like um, this case for uh, one edge weights. Okay, so if it is not visited, we are pushing back here because this is edge one. Okay, so we are pushing back distance plus one, i plus dr and j plus dc, and we are marking that uh, vis uh, visited of i plus dr and j plus dc as distance plus one. Okay, and at the end. Uh, if it is possible to reach n minus one, m minus one, we can return from here. Otherwise, we are returning minus one. Okay. I hope you got the solution. Uh, so I have found one zero one BFS problem after a long time in a contest, and I enjoyed this problem. I hope you, uh, if you don't know about zero one BFS, you learned something new from here, uh, and you will use in further contest. If you find this video helpful, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and also share among your peers. I will attach the code link in the description box. Thank you for watching.